Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Myth of Empires. And what a beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Hells yeah. All right. As you can tell at my house, I did kind of figure out the roof pieces. And by kind of figuring out, I just kept put them down. I just kept putting them down until they went down the right way. Honestly, I have no idea how I put them down the right way. And I did record this episode back to back with last episode. So if you guys, you know, have any ideas on what was wrong with my roofs or what I was doing wrong, um, just be, be be aware. I haven't seen them yet. All right, so I'm collecting just a, a butt ton of branches here. Um, I did level up my, what do you call it? Axing, wood cutting skill. All right, I put a point there and a point there and I can't do anything again until 225 at level 15. And I also requires um, a talent. So I'm gonna have to, wait, Was that is the talent just the one I had before? It might be. Let's take a look again real quick. Um, wood tier one wood output boost. Yeah, okay, makes sense. They're in a row. You have to have a certain amount. So what I'm gonna be doing right now is I'm going to be making myself a spinning wheel, I guess. And then we're gonna try and make some linen. I don't know, kind of figure it out. I might um, I might make my base a little bit bigger. I put down a couple, uh, couple of chests here, which are awesome. Put down the fireplace in there. It didn't burn anything down which is great. Um, <laughs> it's always a bonus when you don't burn your house down. Um, I have to take the coarse hide out of here, so I will be doing that. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and make ourselves a spinning wheel. And that's gonna take a minute and a half, so I will continue cutting stuff down. I do like third person mode and on the outside and first person mode on the inside, by the way. Um, so that's pretty cool, I do enjoy that. Uh, I, I don't know. I just like third person mode. I know a lot of people don't and it's really nice that there's a first person mode there for people who don't like uh, <laughs> There we go uh, For those people who don't like third person mode because I know some people are like oh if there's no first person mode I can't play this so um, it's it is really nice. There's a first person mode for those who want that I now have the spinning wheel. So we're gonna go ahead and put that bad boy down All right number six. There we go. Ah, it's pretty. It's pretty small. I like that I like it a lot. All right, we'll put that down right about there. Okay, so now we need to make some linen and we need, oh, that's what we need the flax for. Okay, do we have any more flax? I don't think I got a ton of flax, but, um, this flax. oh yeah, I, well, no, that's the seed. Oh, wow, I got a lot of flax. All right, cool. Very good. And I think it also said bark, right? Didn't it say bark? I thought it said bark. Let's take a look. Um, yeah, bark. I've got bark right there. Oh, that's right. It's gotta be, it's gotta be inside the, the materials. So, all right. So let's make a couple of those. Uh, we'll just make two for now since that's all they want me to make. And then I got to work on the wooden armor. And does it see where it is? Unlock crafting recipe, wooden protective gear. Wooden protective gear. All right, so that's gotta be in... Armor, wooden protective gear, beautiful. Ooh, look bronze, huh? Fancy schmancy. All right, so what are we gonna need for this? We need linen, don't we? No, we don't. We need bark. Okay, it's kind of weird that you don't need linen for it because that's what they told me to make before I actually started making it, but that's okay. All right, and then we'll just, uh, can we take all this? Yeah, transfer all items, there we go. Press X for the XP. 250 experience, yeah boy. That's what I'm talking about. Use a spinning wheel to gain experience. Use spinning wheel to gain proficiency. Oh, okay. Um, oh, that's right. If you use tab to get into something, I remember something about that. You know what, let me read up on this. This is exactly what I was talking about. Face the spinning wheel, press E and click use in the pop-up panel. Then the spinning wheel will help uh, help you craft things, during which will you gain experience um, for crafting items. Okay, all right, so hold down E. Yeah, I thought it was tab, it's really E. And then go to spinning wheel inventory, spinning wheel use. All right, and let's just make, um, I guess, two more of these, I guess. Oh, that's right, I gotta put stuff in there. All right, so we'll put that in there and that. And then we'll make a couple more of these. Let's make four. Now, do I have to stay in here? Or if I leave, does it not count or what? Oh, look, it's happening. Oh, look, I'm actually on the spinning wheel. And look on the bottom right-hand side. 
Oh, that's so cool. So it seems to me you can have the spinning wheel do it automatically without your help, or you could do it yourself. That is awesome. Oh man, that's really neat. So the whole idea of like having to be at a crafting table in order to craft stuff is kind of like something I was never into because it kind of feels like a waste of time. But this is not really a waste of time because first of all, you have a choice. And second of all, you're getting something for it. That is freaking phenomenal. I pressed E to get out of it, by the way. All right, cool. So let's do this. And we got 125. And very good. Now we need a wooden bed. More wooden found. Yeah, expand the homeland. Okay. These these this quest tutorial thing is really good. I mean, it's exactly what I would what I would want it to be. Also, you've got weekly quests, daily quests, side quests. Just it's kind of amazing how good this quest thing is. Like, just really freaking good. Alright, so what do we need for the armors? We need the bark. Did I put the bark in there? Or did I? Yeah, there it is. All right, so let's go ahead and make one of those, one of those, and one of those. And while that stuff's being made, I will go out and grab some more materials. I am just out here grinding away, grinding away. Um, by the way, when you lose a tool, my tool broke. Uh, if you just if it's green, you have the resources. You just press the button, and it'll queue it up um, to be made for you. Um, you know what? Why don't I go ahead and put? Should I put my armor on? Let me see. What's this? Slash defense, that's 14, 15, 18, 16. Yeah, I mean, that's a that's a freaking boost in every single way. Let's go ahead and put the better armor on. There we go. Beautiful. Do I have, like, a total, like, stat of armor somewhere I don't know about? Eh, I don't know. Maybe somewhere. Maybe somewhere. Oh, there's what... Yeah, I guess this is my total stat, I guess. Or, like, no, this is just individual stats. I'm not sure. Whatever. I got the badass armor on. All right, let's go ahead and press X to finish up that quest. And we need to make two more wo wooden walls. So we'll go ahead and make two more wooden walls. And I made a I made a two by two giant platform just to see if it counted against that like quest for the foundations. It does not. So I'm gonna put it away for now. I don't think I'm gonna have to make this thing that much bigger. So we're just gonna go ahead and put some stuff away here. Put that away, and we're gonna we're gonna use that. Where's the big fan? Yeah, the big foundation's right there. Okay, so I'm gonna build going backwards, I guess, because I'm just trying to I'm trying to stay away from the grass coming up. Man, that freaks me out, dude. Um, it's it's me, but it freaks me out. I I don't want the grass coming through the foundation. Um, I went off camera, tried to figure out a way to raise the foundations again. <laughs> I've not seen your comments from last episode, so if there's a way to raise the foundations and you told me about it, I haven't seen it yet. So. Just be aware of that. All right, so let's go ahead and put these down here. And six, that looks, yeah, that, that's really good, okay. So we could do this and this. So that's three going side to side now. I do want a porch. It's only two deep though. We want it to go another, you know, three deep. So that'll be a three by three. There we go. And we have four more to place down. Uh, Across the back and then one for a stairway. Yeah, I think that'll probably be good. Or we could go this way. Um, maybe over here. Nah, I, I, nah, I think I'd rather go across the back and then one for a stairway. Yeah, that'll work. All right, one, two, three, and then we'll put one here. And that'll be for a staircase. Um, it will be a multi-story base. All right, now we just got to put the walls down. All right. And we can claim our reward. Thank you. 500 experience. Level 17, boy. Hell yeah. All right. Since this is going to be for a staircase, this doesn't need to have any windows. So we'll just put that there, there, and there. Um, I do think I want a window right there. And I'm thinking a window here and here. And that will probably be it for the windows. So now we could just put this right here. All right, so that's going to be a... Actually, I could probably even bring this out over here. It wouldn't be too bad. Um, I don't really need the porch to be three wide. Yeah, whatever. We'll make the porch three wide. Sounds good. So there, there. Hmm. Nah, that'll be fine. Yep, that'll be fine. We'll put that there, there, there. And that will go right there. And we've just upgraded the heck out of our base. Very good. So we'll... Um, do I want to break down stuff yet? 
I don't think so because I don't have enough. I don't have enough uh, materials for the roof yet. Um, by the way, like I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, uh, the roof was really weird. I just kept putting it on from different angles, and eventually it went the way I wanted it to. Um, but it is um, pretty strange. Not gonna lie. All right, main fox and wolf have plenty of bones. Oh, get the bone after hunting down any animals. Wait a minute, C can't you get bone from stuff that aren't foxes? Because I've already got a bone, but I've only got one bone, so maybe it's like rare. Oh boy, man, I was told not to screw with the foxes. I think I think uh, we'll we'll do it tomorrow morning, but I think tomorrow's gonna be the first day I die, probably. All right, let's go ahead and make some more of these. Oh, just one. What am I missing? Branches. Freaking branches. It's always the branches. All right, let me go ahead and get some more branches. So someone mentioned in the comment section that one of the problems with this game is you can't move anything. You can break it down and you get half the resources back. And yeah, that is a bit of a problem. And it's kind of annoying. Um, I'll deal with it, but it would be nice if we could move stuff. Uh, I did go ahead and put a regular flat roof on this thing. Uh, because I am going to make a second floor and I have a ladder right here going up to the second floor. Now, I think you can make trap doors and everything, but for now, you know, that'll do. And um, yeah, this will probably only be two floors. I don't, I don't see it needing to be any bigger than that. And um, depending on how I like this spot, I might stay here forever or I might not. I don't know. It'll probably just be a um, a temporary base. Maybe I'll let other people use it. People will just spawn in and everything eventually. Um, that might be a good idea. Anyway, um, I did get a daily quest done that I didn't know about. Uh, let's take a look. And it wants me to collect 600 sticks, and I did, so let's go ahead and finish that. 800 XP! I don't know what activity points are, by the way. 800 XP. Hell yeah. Alright, so, fox and wolf. Now, I haven't seen any wolves yet, and people told me if I attack foxes, I'm gonna die. So, I... Don't know what to do about that quest. Just kind of ignore it. You know what? I've got a spawn point. I I'm I'll fight some foxes. Like as long as they're by me and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna wait until the morning though. All right. I see a raccoon. I think I'm gonna try and get this raccoon. Why not? I'm gonna hunt stuff that that. Oh, there's a couple of them. All right. Yeah, this might go badly for me. We'll see. Swing and a miss. Damn it. Okay, now there's two of them there, so I'm thinking one of them's. I'm thinking they're both gonna attack when I attack either of them. Also, they're really close to me and don't seem that concerned with me, which should have me worried, but it doesn't. I'm gonna wait for him to stop moving. There you go. Damn it! Oh, you kill! You're killing me. There we go. Oh, yep, they're gonna attack. All right, here we go. Uh, hit him, hit him. Can you hit him? Maybe I should block. Uh, okay. Defense. There we go, got him. Okay. All right, there goes one. And... Uh, stop running. Where you going, bro? Where you going? To hell! Okay, cool. And now we'll use our knife and see if we can get some bones from these guys. Uh, B. Mm, there we go. I got some bones. Alright, cool. Maybe I'm supposed to duck? Yeah, ducking seems to be better. Okay. Now, they were hitting me a lot, and I, I really didn't take that much damage. I'm not sure, like my if my like attack was getting interrupted the combat in this game seems like it's gonna take some getting used to but um you know we handled it okay i figured they were going to attack because um there was two of them and they weren't like trying to move away from me but like they didn't seem to care about me at all so all right let's go ahead and finish up that quest 400 experience um it wants me to make a bed um craft bone axe i want to i want to craft tools first better tools Okay, unlock crafting bone tools. Yes, that's what I want. Also, I have to decide what weapon I want to use. I'm thinking I probably want to go one-handed in shields. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'm waiting for people to tell me in the comment section or in Discord which one they think is the best. Like, what, I don't know anything about any of these skills. My gut tells me one-handed in shield, but, you know, who knows. All right, so let's go right here, and we are going to go to... Nope, stay on the first one. Tools, bone tools, and there we go. 
All right. So now we're going to make some bone tools, uh, weapons, ammo, equipment. Is tools equipment? No. Weapons, ammo, building, materials, search. Is it weapons? Yeah, I guess tools are weapons. All right, fair enough. Um, bone axe, come at me, bro. And bone hammer as well. Awesome. Wow, these bone tools are legit. I really, really like them. I knew I was going to like them, but man, this is just... I wonder what my uh, chopping skill, wood chopping skill is up to right now. Uh, 194. One said it's one, 225. Yeah, 225. Staying alive at 225. Actually, let's take a look at what we need on those. Because I think I might need something else. No, no, I just need, I just need the 225. That's right. That's right. Okay. Sounds good. I am making roof pieces for my house. And now we're going to do this to get our experience. Boom. 100, 100 experience. Alright, so it wants me to make a bed. And it also wants me to collect... Uh, clay. Now, I'm guessing clay is collected with this, with stone. Um, hold on, let's do this. Collect clay, clay by the river, you can find clay by the river. Okay. I guess it's just, you just use the hammer for the clay. And luckily for, well, actually, I don't think I'm living by a river. So we, I mean, yeah, that's not really a river, so. Well, this did, definitely does not count as a river. Okay. Which kind of sucks. That means I have to come all the way up here, as far as I know. Maybe I can come around here for clay, but definitely would be up here. And I started walking up there and it is slow, like super, super slow. So you know what I did? I went ahead and specced into horse taming and I made myself a, a light saddle. Um, I made this stuff right here, which is the coarse dry fodder. You throw it on the ground and the horse will go over there and start eating it. And then I guess I could jump behind him with a rein and try and, I don't know, we're gonna try and get a horse today. Cause screw that, man, that was, Oof. I was started walking up there. I'm like, this is slow AF. I don't think they mean you to go that far without a horse. I could be wrong. Maybe I can't get a horse. Maybe it, maybe I'm not high enough level. I don't know. I did put some thingies into taming, or at least one thingy. Uh, where is it? Right here. I put one of these things into taming. And you know what? Oh, I can't. Wait. Yeah, there we go. I'll put another one in there. There we go. So hopefully that'll like up my taming skill i have no clue all i know is i do not want to run all the way up here <sighs> i'm assuming this is a river too this is probably work too oh by the way when i ran by this that's like a fox area apparently so all we got to do is find a horse i know i've seen a lot of horses around here and it doesn't seem like there's like many enemies if any at all so we're just gonna kind of see what's what um, these right here, I gotta throw this on the ground, relax, it'll relax the horse, use the reins to catch control of the common horse, put it in a sidebar, as your offhand approach a wild horse and press E. So, I will, there's one right there. Alright. So, I think we just gotta throw the food down, and wait for the horse to go get it, and then, um, we go behind and tame him. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. What level is he? Her? He? She? I don't know. All right, 13. Oof, that's unlucky. Well, whatever. I'm going to go for it anyway. So I'll throw that right in front of the horse. And then we will come from behind. Nope. Did I not wait long enough or... Hmm. I don't know if I didn't wait long enough or not. All right. There you go. Have that. Maybe, maybe I got to like wait until they... Stop freaking out. Oh, hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. Okay. Seven. Uh, seven. I don't know if you have to duck. I, it doesn't look like that horse is eating. But it's also not freaking out. So let's do this. And E. E. <laughs> E mounted. There we go. Okay. So as far as I know, you could kind of like rear the horse around, kind of kind of guide him where the, where you want him to go. And you're gonna you see the taming points, the rage points, the runaway points. I don't know what any of that means. All I know is when the rage points gets up, there's gonna be a mini game and I have to hit left and mouse button left and right mouse button and stuff. Um to kind of get the horse on my side. So I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm hoping I'm getting taming experience right now. Um, I probably am, but 
I don't know for sure. This is my first time doing this. But yeah, man, this is pretty... <laughs> it's pretty fun. You can kind of aim them where you want them to go. And, oh, I saw I could collect stuff while on the horse as well. That's interesting. I didn't know about that. Um, I'm thinking taming points. I'm not sure if that's a skill I'm getting or if that's how close I am to taming the horse. All I know is this horse, when it gets to the rage meter, it's going to say, hit the left mouse button, hit the right mouse button. And someone said if you just mash both of them, it works. But I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. All right, here we go. It's going to start soon. Well, pretty soon. And I guess um, the bottom part is the ranking and the horse will be more badass. I guess the better you are in taming skill. I, I have no idea. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this horse because that would be really, really awesome. And right now I am steering the horse, by the way. Okay, here we go. Any second now. Okay. Come on. He is about to go berserk. So what do I got to do? Oh, left mouse button. All right, I'm just going to mash both the mouse buttons. And it does seem to be working, I guess. Oh, yeah, okay. So you see what happened there? It lowered the rage meter. Okay. By the way, you can mash both mouse buttons. Just mash both mouse buttons. It's just easier. Okay. And she seems to be kind of relaxing a little bit. Or he, she. I'm not sure. I'm not good with the gender, like, signs. <laughs> Plus, I'll be honest, I wasn't looking at the gender sign when I was going to hop on her back. Or his back. Maybe I should get the gender right, then he or she will be happier with me. Eh, who knows? They don't seem to be running around as as like much as before. They seem to be a little bit, a little bit more chill. Okay, and here we go. We're about to get the rage meter thingy again. Okay, there we go. And... Any second now, there we go. They're about to they're about to go berserk. Okay, there we go. I'm just I'm just mashing the mouse buttons, both of them. Damn it! I don't know if I did something wrong or not. Maybe you're not supposed to mash both of the mouse, mouse buttons. I don't know. Let's see if we got any taming skill off that. Um taming. There it is. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's 78. 78 already. Um, but we got to get to level 150 before we can do anything. All right, I'm going to try and get him again. All right. I'm going to try and walk out without ducking this time. And we'll see how this goes. Oh, that is... That's a girl, right? Pretty sure that's a girl. There we go. All right. And it looks like the taming skill does, does uh, carry over. Or maybe that's my... Maybe that's my personal skill. I don't know. Um, but the ranking is real low. I don't care what kind of horse I get. I just want to get a horse. I will um, I will try and do the thing without mashing both the buttons this time. Wait until it calms down before taming again. Oh, okay. Well, um, all right. Well, we'll see. I guess, I guess I'm just going to automatically fail it this time. I'll try one of the other horses then. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on, go berserk. About to go berserk. Okay, repeatedly clicking both buttons. There we go. Okay. Can I not get this one? I might not be able to get this one. I don't see the taming points going up at all. So, how do I, like, bail out on it? There we go. Okay. Well, let's try another one.
There we go. Got myself a horse. Beautiful. Um, Sylvie. There we go. Or is it with an I at, or Y at the end? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I could change the name later. All right. And I got myself a horse. And they can carry stuff. Um, they've got a lot of stuff. I'm not sure if they have to eat or anything like that. Um, uh, maneuver full. Oh, yeah, they gotta eat. All right, so I need to look at what Sylvie is going to want to eat. Open inventory, change name, toggle wander, follow. How do I just get on usage rights? Hmm. Open in. Yeah, how do I just get on? Uh, don't know. Oh, duh, I gotta put a saddle on her. Now, do I put it in her inventory or? Probably. Yeah, let's put let's put the saddle there in inventory. Oh, hold on. There we go. Uh alright, good. That doesn't look right. Maybe this saddle goes over here. There we go. Now we're talking. Oh hell's freaking yeah. See, I really like games that allow you to get some I really like games that allow you to get some kind of transportation like this early. This is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. I really like this game, guys. I hope you guys want to see more of this because I am pumped and I want to make a lot more episodes. And um, yeah, I'm going to. All right, guys, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.